Oh, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Who the F is Rob White? I am your host and tattoo artist on the show, Rob White. This is my client, a customer, and friend, Mr. Tim Thompson. Hi, Rob White. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Fellow stand-up comic as well. Tell them uh, a little bit about you. Hi, I'm Tim Thompson. I am type O positive, and uh, I'm, I'm good around the toilet. <laughs> And uh, I do stand-up comedy because I don't have a lot of places to go. So they let you go there to stay warm and eat chicken fingers. And uh, what, I guess... The- you, 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 it seems like I'm tattooing somebody that's on an outing with one of those uh, small buses, you know? Yeah, I can't afford the big bus. Oh, this is going to be... And, like, and it's easier to get out with the ramp and all. Oh, uh, Rob, how long have we been doing this? I don't know. This is going too far, too long, too much. Rob and I, we've been doing stand up in New York for Jesus, was, way too, uh, way too long. Jesus, since the Carter administration, how long is it? Uh, it's uh, Gerald Ford. No, oh, Gerald Ford. <laughs> Gerald, Gerald Ford. I, didn't pour ink out. I thought I poured ink out like an idiot. I didn't. So now I'm like last second here. I got to make me a little nervous. Ink out, you know. Yeah, I was. Just, I imagine I tattooed you, and I was just like, oh, it's just nothing but blood. I don't. I don't get a lot. Of, this is my third tattoo. Uh, what was your uh, what was your first? Your second one was the TV one they did years ago. One. Uh, the right? first one was all the things I read off that I have uh, type O positive blood. And, uh, oh, you have uh, written on you? Yeah, please, no flash photography and things like that. No flash photography? What are you, octopus in yeah. the aquarium? Do not feed my hand. Yes, I am an I could get out of many sticky situations. And Japanese people are always trying to eat me. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. It's all, all people. No, what is your places. first tattoo? What do you it was a, I got a four leaf clover on my forearm. Oh. I remember I went to get. Because you wanted some good luck. I wanted good luck. Uh, this is how long ago. When I was playing beer pong, so I could line it up. Oh, shoot. It was like last week? Oh, uh, it was. Oh, that was a crazy week. Uh, no, jeez. I remember the first time I went to get a tattoo. I was in high school still. I was wearing my uniform. School you had a high school uniform? I had a high school uniform. Catholic school? No, I went to Xavier School for the Illinois. What? And, uh, no, I, fin- <laughs> I finished uh, high school. I went to a small as part. I mean, I went to many different schools because, uh, you know, they couldn't, they didn't understand me. They were like audiences. And, uh, and the last school I finished was in uh, East Iceland. And uh, it was a small, small private school. My graduating class was me and Andy. And, uh, Andy who? Andy, we, we, no like last name. No. Oh no, just another kid. Yeah, and uh, I was salutatorian. Tough. Yeah. Salutatorian. Yeah. Or salutatorian. It's a weird. It's a salutatorian and salutatorian. I never. Anyone know? Sal Salutatorian. I was Sal Sal. I'm right. Sal uh, Salutatorian. I'm gonna do a line just so you know. Wow. All right. Whatever calms you, you down. No, you, you know what I meant. Oh. You know what I meant. So stop it, okay? Okay. Oh, no, 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 continue, keep going, doing your thing. So I went to the tattoo parlor in uh, East Iceland. And at first I actually went, no, yeah, no, I went in there and uh, I wanted to get a leprechaun. And uh, they're like, we can't do that. You know, you're underage, like, unless we get your parents' permission. I called my mom, she's like, hey, my, she's like, aren't you in school? Like, yeah, anyway. Can I have you, a leprechaun, yeah. mom? And she was like, no. She's like, no! So I had this money and I went next door to the pet shop and bought a tarantula. And I named it Lucky. Did you really buy tarantula? I did. And you know what? I terrified of spiders. Why did you... Why did you... What? Why I, would I do something that yeah. uh, hurt me? Uh, I'm Catholic. So you could have just you know, beat yourself with the, uh, with the whip, like what do you call it? Oh, hindsight. What the hell's the name of that Opus movie? Opus Day. <laughs> Opus Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, then I had the tarantula and uh, I never touched it. I would just feed it and watch it. You know, you're a fucking weird dude. <laughs> I like you, Tim. You just figured this out? Yeah, no, no. You've always been just a, a, just like its own freaking world with you. It's not like everyone else's world, you know? Which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. you got this good thing going on, you know? Do you think... Um, is it an only child thing, you think? Uh, maybe oh. it's because you have to amuse yourself and yeah. like, rip and stuff. That was a lot, a lot, yeah. You just had to like kind of figure it out. Yeah. Were you raised with a lot of kids around? Like I got my peers? sisters, two sisters. That's right. And a couple of cousins. Wait, your sisters are younger. Oh, they're younger. Oh, shoot. All right. 
But they weren't terribly young, right? No, yeah. no, we're steps in age. So I was okay. born in 1980, my sister was 82, and then I'm 80, uh, then 84. So. Oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> yeah, so we got a little, little bit of everything going on, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so you were raised by yourself. Yes. Uh, I had well, I mean, you had, you, had, you know, your mom, I mean, you weren't raised I by had my yourself, mom, right? and, uh, in, in a weird deal, by yourself, in the woods, type thing. Yeah, and my grandmother was there a lot, she, uh, and my aunt, my mom's sister. And, uh, you said aunt. Aunt, uh, yeah, how do you say it? Well, that's so weird, you say aunt, you don't I, say aunt. I don't, they always said aunt, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's You rare. say aunt, too? My wife uh-huh. says aunt all the time. What do you think that is? Like, is that? I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out for a while now, as to why some people say aunt and some people say aunt on Long Island. I, is it just? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's a uh, it's a thing that like I don't understand it. Like it's an Irish thing. We're already getting into race. Okay, we're already getting into it. We try not to, but we're doing. It. <laughs> Here on Long Island, does that have to do with Battle of Mipler? <laughs> no, it does. On Long Island, I don't know what it is, but anybody that was white said Anne, and and everybody to know that was black said Aunt. That one guy, the old, in my neighborhood. I'm just saying, like in my in like in, in, the, in the people that I've met over the years, I've asked and I've like, and I don't understand it. Why one would say it one way and one would say it the other, but you just said it. You said aunt. I always grew up with that aunt, and then we hear. I sometimes say aunt just to fit in, so I don't get uh, you know prejudice. Was your aunt black? I don't think so. I never I asked her she though. Was, but you didn't know, so maybe she was, and you didn't know all these years, and that's why you said it. You didn't know. I mean, she's not a mistake. I mean, I've been confused sometimes too. Oh my god! <laughs> the more you know. My aunt was, uh, oh, I loved her. She, a uh, huge movie person. She would take me to movies all the time. She would do this funny thing. She loved Woody Allen movies, but she hated him. So whenever she went to see his movie, she would pay for another movie and sneak into his. Like, I refused to give him money. <laughs> Wait, for real? Oh, yeah. And this was before all that stuff came out about him, you know, being Jewish. No, that's true. Yeah. Didn't he like he fucked his his uh, his not stepdaughter? His stepdaughter. Right? Step- he yeah. married her. He's still with her. Oh, that's right. Yeah, soon, that's soon, the, Lee. Soon, yeah. Oh, you know that. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it was love. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you know, I, yeah. how, how did you guys meet? Well, we met through her, her mother. <laughs> Funny story. Who was originally my wife. I like how the rotary machine is supposed to be quiet, but yet it sounds like a Piper Cub. It literally sounds like a model airplane right now. You know? Oh, man. Careful. What? <laughs> no, no, it's like you're going to yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, let me ask you. Has anyone ever walked in, want a tattoo, and you refuse? Like, I can't do that. Um, yeah, no, all the time. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's lots of stuff now that I just won't do because I'm just tired of it, you know. Oh, really? I used to just do like everything and anything. I tend to kinds, of, all kinds of crazy shit, you know. But you know, after a while, you started like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of it. I've done it ten times. You know what I mean? But has there ever been like oh, someone wants to get a fad tattoo and like I can't do that? It's gonna be dumb in like three hours. Oh, that's every tattoo though. Yeah, yeah. really. Every, yeah, people just come in and they're just like, dude, you know what I saw? And you're like, yeah, I want hawk to a hawk. To, oh, you know what? You know how many hawk to a tattoos there are now? Seven. There's no god. There's gotta be like these hundreds right now. God. People have been getting tattoos that are on. Um, what do you want to call that? Uh, when something becomes popular. Me. Well, something just becomes randomly popular. What, what is that called? Like a uh, Korean pop band? No, no. When something becomes like instantly a trend. Yeah, trend, a trend yeah. yeah. Like a coming trend, you know? Like, Thank you, yeah. You're welcome. Like, I don't even understand the whole Hawk to a girl. I really just, I don't get it. I don't get it, right? They're well, all she's excited describing what to do to a penis. I know that, that people enjoy that because that's <laughs> like, that's something that's cool, but... There are there are literally girls that are doing that to a penis, and are not as popular. Oh no! Yeah, there's yeah, there's just crazy. 
like there's a there's a, a rub and tug next door to the shop here. It's uh, it's common knowledge. We see it every day. We see these gentlemen going in there, right? Now uh, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, how the, the hand jobbery works, but um, please explain. Well, basically, there's ladies in there, and Whoa. Uh, yep, and then they uh, go on uh, and they uh, <laughs> they caress and, and softly pet the penis uh. until it, until it says hello, and then and then they they get some money for that. Wow. Now, that sounds like my chiropractor. Those girls aren't on TV. They're not getting like they're not getting to go open up, you know, a, a new Waffle House or whatever. No. Whatever the hawk to a girl gets to do it. She's not even doing anything that great. No, oh, they just have old guys driving through their stores, killing them. What? Huh? Huh? So, uh, yeah, I like your show. First time, long time. Uh, I been watching it. It's a uh, it's an acquired taste, you yeah. know. What do you think? Who do you want to get in the chair? Who do I want in the yeah, chair? Yeah, who would you love? Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't know. How about David Tell? Oh, yeah, David Tell would be cool. Good, yeah. I've, I've written to a couple. It's just a thing about this, too. Like You can't just write to people and be like, can you make, I'll tattoo you on my show, and then just yeah. be like, what kind of a fucking weirdo is this? Well, why don't you send them a best of clip? You know, like, hey, I'm doing this out on the island. I love your... Uh, Working the club out here. You know, no, you I should. Yeah, I, should. Schedule. I mean, it's hard, though, because you try to find people that get tattoos that are going to get stuff that's kind of in your wheelhouse, too. Yeah. You know? and, um, I want to get Doug Stanhope on the oh, show. Oh, wow. I actually right. wrote to Stanhope, and Stanhope, Stanhope wrote back, which nice. is, right. which is right. kind of like, you know. That you know, seems like a Stanhope. <clears throat> Yeah, and then that's it made me feel really good, and it reminded me that everybody in this business that doesn't write back to you is is just like a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Oh, like no. Think about how many bookers and how many times have you written emails or 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 tried to reach out to a you know a comedy club booker and yeah. owner or whatever, and then they just they just cool guy you like there's no no time for you, and you're like, Stanhope wrote me back, you know, like what's, what's you know well, why? You have no reason to write me back at all, you know. What do you say? No, he was just like I'm not really into tattoos, oh. although you know I think what you're doing is cool, that kind of thing, and. You know, I'll definitely check out some episodes, and if I ever decide to get one, you'll be the guy. And I was like, all right, that's, that's all you have to write. You know, you don't have to be, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of random comics out there that I think would be cool to have on the show that are, like, tattooed, you know. You got, like, Big J Okerson, that would be cool. He's got yeah. a lot of tattoos. Um, uh, you know, Dan Lamort. Dan Lamort. Dan Lamort. Uh, him and Natalie Cuomo actually just got married. You know Natalie Cuomo? Yes? Yeah, they both just got married. He's, uh, well, both of them will be cool. Either one of them will be cool, but I always thought Dan was a cool character because he's got, like, a really good, uh, he does ultra marathons and shit. So oh, I think yeah. that's kind of a cool kind of thing, you know? Uh, Those seem terrifying. Hmm? Like, ultra marathons where you run, like, a, like 100 miles in the mountains. Yeah, anything more than 50, yeah. It's crazy. I think that's insane, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a friend, his dad would train for that, and he had like a, I want to say hyperbolic chamber or hyperbaric chamber in his, okay. I forget what, uh, in his garage to, you know, train his body for the, like, the, the, uh, That's insane. Lower yeah. Like, this is a lot. That's what, like, a lot of the, uh, the Kenyan runners are really good because they're running at that, um, that I think the altitude there is higher, lower? No, I think Kenya is higher, higher yeah. altitude. I think that's what makes them run better is because they're training at that higher altitude and then they come and they do like Chicago or they do like London and it's like a step down. So it's like, it's like ah, we can do this. Hey guys watching at home, do you know if Kenya is higher or lower? Please write in the comments below. Yeah, that's Like and subscribe. Cool. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Smash that like button. Smash that. That's always they say smash that. I feel smash like it. I feel like I want to see smashed like buttons. Just tattoos. Just yeah. Oh. Just smash. I um. I have got the outline done. All right. Yeah. If you wanted to check it out thus far and see what you think of the outline or or not. Hey everyone, what do you think? I only care what the audience thinks. I told the audience. Who's wow? Oh, Why does God. it say wow? <sighs> Can we whip them out now? It's not Wednesday. Remember Whip Out Wednesday? Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. The Opie and Anthony show? Uh, the Opie and Anthony show. That was my favorite. Enough of this palaver. Oh, that was such a good... That was the, the beginning of... Uh, what do you want to call it? Um, um, 
podcasting, really. Yeah. And a lot of people talk about that. The hang? Just having a show where no one had to do radio voice. No one had to, like, you know, you know, this show is brought to you by blah, blah, blah. They didn't, didn't really do a lot of that, you know? It's true. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you want to say that's the beginning, but uh, that was... Well, I mean, what was the first one to, like, really break that, that kind of mold, you know? That kind uh, of... Stern? Imus? Uh... uh <laughs> But even Stern kind of had that whole, like, you know... Yeah, here we go. WNBC, like, when you have to do that shit. Well, didn't you see the movie? Yeah, he said he didn't want to do that anymore. I don't know. I was never a big <laughs> Stern fan. Yeah. I don't know what it was about him. I think it was just a... I think that more than anything, he just took himself too serious, you know? Hey, Rob! Yeah, this microphone's fucking up over here. Yeah, I know. It's in my ear. I'm sure I'm trying to fix this. Oh, though. no. His fuzzy <laughs> fell off. Oh, that fucking thing fell. We'll be right back. My ear. Colors and stuff. So, yeah. No, this design is actually pretty cool. Um, for not being a tattoo design that, that you know, went out of tattooing. Yeah, so, it's a traditional type design. But it's from Richard Scarry. It's, it's from those, those yeah, awesome books. books. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was pretty neat that uh, you pulled something out like that. Thank your, you. Your mom, of course, like, yeah, I mean, got from you when you were a kid. All the time. Yeah, she would, uh, I remember going to bed with those. I mean, <laughs> not much reading. You're looking at the nah, picture, nah. Yeah. Just awesome pictures of like, like yeah. just all these different animals and insects doing crazy shit, building houses. And uh, the worm is wearing a shoe. It was funny. Yeah, and one he shoe. Had a little hat. <laughs> well, he could wear two. And I, 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 re I recently looked at those books again after seeing this, and there's so many good tattoo designs in there, like these cool little animals and insects. And uh, but it's a lot of them. <coughs> sorry, a lot of the uh, the animals, and insects in there. They were they were there to like explain to you occupations yes. or different types of vehicles or whatever. But a lot of them got changed. Like, did you see the revamped them? No. Yeah, it's, it's it's weird. Like, there's a lot of them in there that they weren't. They're not like okay. For example, like it says fireman. Well, yeah. it's not fireman anymore. Fireman, it's Fire firefighter. Oh, you know. Oh, I mean, so they didn't change the design. Just uh, no, oh. no. I th well, I think they did take like guns and stuff out of them anymore. You know, because like a raccoon with with an AR-15 yeah. is always scary. Well, you know what I probably was fond of is that they were always kind of in rather urban settings. And That's true. You know, growing up in the city, I mean, because most books as a kid, you know, <coughs> all the little animals are playing in the woods, or I mean, the Berenstein Bears are, you know, little nowhere. Berenstein Bears were Jewish, though, right? Uh, I forget what they did on Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anywho, the uh, they they were in an urban setting. These uh, these critters. Hey, do you guys know if the Berenstein Bears were Jewish? Uh, put in your comments below on what you think of that. Is that what we do? You gotta get the I don't know what we do. They're not live. No, but you want the chat, right? Some people chatting. 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 It helps with the algorithm. I mean, they were in the, the urban setting. Yeah, kind of. Well, I mean, so they it was were all. I mean, it wasn't rural. I mean, they had streets and yeah, buildings. Yeah, 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 it's true. There is like construction equipment yeah. and stuff. Which is weird. They were like, hey guys, look at us, we're destroying our natural habitat. Waka waka, you know. Just run a backhoe up in it. You think there was a deeper, darker meaning to it? I didn't even think about that. I, I wish I thought about that before this happened. I don't know. Oh, crap. I don't know. Now I have to think about that. DK, can I get a water cup? I don't have one of those. These are the things I don't have now. Because I changed my station around. I'll have those. Will you? Yeah. Whoa. Has she done the show yet? Has she been on this show yet? Has she, yeah. No, she, she's like in the background. She won't get on the actual show. Why? Yeah, my wife is like, uh, you remember uh, Muppet Babies? Yeah. Where it's just the giant yeah, legs that roll through. She's Nanny? Yeah. Uh, or was it Granny? What was the name of the... Nanny. Nanny? Muppet Babies will make your dreams come true. Oh, uh -huh. Muppet Babies. We'll do the same for you. Remember? When your world looks kind of weird, <laughs> you wish you weren't there. <laughs> Just close your eyes and breathe. Take you there? Is that what it was? I don't know. It just gets weird after that. Animal, do things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does a line. Like, the yeah, animal was doing cocaine yeah. and uh, got in trouble for sex trafficking. Oh, yeah. Weird. Yeah, it was a weird time. Nah, uh, the 80s. Everything with babies. That was a weird time. 
in yeah. like the 80s cartoons was like, okay, we made a lot of money off of this cartoon, but what if they were children? You know, it's like, okay, so we have Flintstones children. Yeah, Flintstones and, kids. And, 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 and uh, you know, Muppet Babies. And, <clears throat> and then they had a Punky Brewster cartoon. Yeah, and that was a weird one too because they just it, they used to like to well, they didn't want throw they had a magical animal. Yeah, let's yeah. put a magical animal. You know what else would happen here? She has a wuzzle. You know like, what's a wuzzle? Yeah, they did that to uh, you know Arnold from uh, Different Strokes. You know, didn't he? Have, he was an angel and he had like a magical animal as well. Did he really? Yeah, I don't remember that show. That was a real show. Yeah, you remember all those violent rated R movies in the eighties that got like child friendly cartoons in the nineties? Yeah, like Rambo. Rambo got a cartoon. And Robocop. Robocop got a cartoon. Police Academy had a cartoon show. Yeah, they were really just operating on whatever. Let's just do it, you know? It's nuts. It is kind of nuts. People like a good, uh, hey, remember that podcast? They love Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that, um, what was it, VH1? Like, I remember the 90s. Oh, they did all the decades, yeah. I think that's the last time I watched VH1. And I was just dating shows. Is VH1 yeah. still a thing? Still exists? I don't know. Chris? Yeah, it does. All right, he knew that very fast. That's what Chris watches is VH1. That's it? Yeah. All right, Melon Camp's coming back around. He just watches nothing but uh, Michael Bolton videos. Oh, nice. Yeah. Love is a wonderful thing. Bolton had a comeback a few years ago. Uh, yeah, because what was the movie? Office Space? Was all, well, did you see the Valentine's Day special he did on Netflix? Uh, it was like, oh, what, eight years ago or something? Hmm, I think it was from that uh, the Lonely Island song he did with uh, oh, yeah. uh, Jack Sparrow. That really brought him back. Yeah, they tried. They tried. And succeeded. Yeah. Who would be your favorite 90s uh, musician? Favorite 90s musician? Yeah. I mean, cool. If not Michael Bolton. Wow. I mean, were you like a chumba wumba, like tub thumping kind of guy? or you Maybe just uh, Bib. Too late. Just from Bill, Bib DeVoe? Right? Yeah, just Bib. <laughs> Bell and DeVoe were holding it back. <laughs> like, you gotta go out there, Bib. You gotta get the most buttoned up, colorful collared shirt you ever could find. And he's like, uh, that's color me bad. He's like, damn it, it's color me bad. Uh, 90s act, my god. Do you want some uh, edible heroin? Yeah, okay. Speaking of the 90s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's the mm-hmm. edible heroin? Mm-hmm. Wow, it's in liquid form. Yeah, well, it's our sponsor. <laughs> Guys, the future sponsor is now. for the show. Excuse me. I don't know what I was doing that. Who sponsors your podcast? Oh, uh, Jeez, I guess uh, Zoloft. Are you doing any podcasts currently? No, I'm the one comic on this island without a podcast. I feel weird. Oh, man. I feel naked. What a queef. Yeah. Uh, everybody that's cool has a podcast. Everyone's got a podcast. I was uh, randomly screaming uh, on a YouTube channel, and the, but it's hidden. Like, no one can find us. If anyone ever finds that there's a YouTube channel, we just once a day just screaming about random things. Maybe one day I'll show you a link. I think we should um, just randomly start beef with a random comic. Oh my god! On this show. All right. I don't know. Oh yeah, that Billy Geyer. That Billy Geyer. Oh my goodness. I've had Billy Geyer actually. You had it. You had Billy Geyer. No, no, I, not oh, actually not, not on here. I've had him in the. Oh, I've been on a show. I've been on a show with him. Wait, no, was I on a podcast with him? No, I wasn't. No, no, never mind. None of that's useful. No. That was pointless. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Was this, I would, you know, no, back to what I was saying earlier. That's somebody I would want to have on the show. Yeah. I would, yeah, I would love to have Billy Geyer on this podcast. Oh, yeah. But Billy Geyer doesn't have any tattoos. Well, I mean, then that's perfect. That's what I was trying to say. I was, I was you know, hit a brain hiccup. Be Billy's uh, first. Billy, I've tattooed his mom, and, uh, and and she's always been very nice. Miss Geyer is a, uh, oh. a nice lady, and I think that it would be fun for Billy to come on the show, but he doesn't know what he once. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, put in the comments what type of tattoo you think Billy Geyer should get. Yo. This is, I like this is like a comic. Like that, so right? It's, yeah. It's making it, it's making it interesting. Oh, uh, I used to call radio stations all the time for contests. Oh yeah, did you win? Oh yes. I would, I didn't even know what I was winning. 
I mean, I, I worked at a video store. I don't know if you remember those. And uh, yeah, yeah. And we had a great phone. You hit redial. It was fast. So I would call K Rock, which was uh, the alt music station uh, on the radio. If you guys know, like radio would grab these signals from the, the sky, and I, that's as much science I, I could say. But I would call all the time as soon as I heard the sound. You know, try to be the ninety-second caller. Did you call it the other day, like the phrase that pays? No, that was Z one hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Z one hundred pays plays today's best music. Now give me my damn money. Oh my lord, you knew it too. Oh yeah, I would answer the phone for me. I couldn't get a job for a while. Uh, <laughs> you just answer it like that. You know, was... And what you? What's the best thing you've ever won? Well, all right. So I don't know if it's the best. Uh, I I call and like, hey, all right, you get to meet. Uh, Marilyn Manson, they're signing CDs at the Virgin Records store in Times Square. I'm like, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. You, know? you, you didn't want to meet Marilyn well, Manson? Well, I mean, like, he was all right, but I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I go in the city. I'd like to get a CD. And I get, I go there. There are so many goth kids around, and I'm dressed, you know, in khakis. You know, <laughs> so right? you're like a fucking soch surrounded by greasers? Exactly. They did not like, and I, so I get to the front of the line. Uh, I, I, th I say, hey, Brian, because I knew his name was Brian. He was pissed. Brian. Hey, Brian. Hi, how are you? Your music is uh, it's adequate. And he signed it. Did he sign your titty? He signed my titties. Nah. I asked him no. I was nice. like, no means no. And, uh, you know. Anyway, I got a call a few weeks later, like, you won the grand prize. You get to see the opening of his tour. I'm like, oh, fuck. So it's just you versus Marilyn Manson. Yeah. So like I'm like I'm hoping like oh maybe it opens in LA somewhere cool like no Kansas City Kansas City Missouri I must have been 18 or 19 uh I had to get these things notarized they flew me out there I went with my friend Daphne and we get off the plane and like now what we have no idea where to go that I called the hotline it's the only number I have like hey what do you want to listen to like hey shut up you sent me to Kansas City I don't know what to do and they put me on hold for like, you know, half hour on like listening to a new Hoobastank. Like, ah, oh, Hoobastank. I wonder where they're playing. Probably somewhere better than Kansas City, Missouri. And then I, eventually I get to the hotel. The guy, you know, we get a, a cab. And the guy picks us up and he's like, hey, where are you from? I'm like, New York. I'm like, ah, oh, you must be Italian. I'm like, ah, oh, close. Like, Jewish? Like, no, we're, we're guessing. I'm like, we're Irish. Ah, that would have been my fourth guess. What would have been third? Uh, Dutch? Like maybe they're still Dutch? Because New York, you know, it used to be New Amsterdam. Yeah. It's their fault. They couldn't fucking make anything original, could they? Like old York and old no. Amsterdam. They're like, no, but no, but the New York. Like, I yeah, I knew. We already did this already. We've already done this. And so you were in Kansas City. Yeah. And you got to see Marilyn Manson. And how was the show? It was all right. I had to take the bus was to the weird? Civic was your Center. Mom, like, your, your mom must have been like, you're going to see the devil Oh, in yeah, Kansas well, City. Because, I mean, you've been raised pretty uh, pretty good Catholic. You my know? mom, yeah, she's, she's Catholic. Uh, she might still be. I don't know. Uh, do you have to keep your religion after you die? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> hey, comment now. Do you have to stay in your religion? <laughs> Like, oh, shit, a Mormon forever? Ah, uh, crap. When do I get these magical underwear off? Magical underwear? Yeah, Mormons have to wear those. Communal underwear? Communal? Yeah. Like everybody in the community gets one? I thought it was just Disney. Disney? The religion of Disney? No, with Disney, they all have to wear the same underwear. Disneyists have to wear the same underwear? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But Disney. can they include, like, Fox characters now? Well, I believe Fox is uh, owned by Disney. Yeah. What's a Fox character? Which is a picture of Bill O'Reilly. Freddy from <laughs> Freddy Got Finger. Disney's <laughs> Freddy Got Finger. That's now a Di everybody. That's a Disney movie now. Think about I just, that. I would draw a Fox character. I just rather just be like a fucking giant picture of Greta Van Susteren. Remember? Oh yeah. I'm Greta Van Susteren. Is she still? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, if you guys have seen Greta Van Susteren recently, let us put in the comments where you've seen her. And the best way to tranquilize her. No. <laughs> this is going to be the worst comment section ever. <laughs> oh, no, it's there's a lot be, worse. I'm going to have to rewatch. What kind of comment is it? Let me rewatch what we said. <laughs> God darn it. God Language. darn it. Consarn it. Consarn it. No one says yeah. that anymore. Oh, anyway, so, yeah, we have to go to the, 
Uh, I get all gothed out. My friend Daphne dresses me up all in black what for the, the show. Fucking Daphne, what was Scooby Doo and Fred busy? What's yeah, going on, exactly. No, they wouldn't go to. Uh, <laughs> it was my my girlfriend at the time. It was her friend. She couldn't go, so I took her friend, and she gets all the makeup on me. We get on a bus. You a really had bus. makeup on too, like yeah. The beautiful people. The the, yeah. <laughs> and we're and all these normal Midwestern people are like, hey, which way is the Civic Center? And like, oh, this bus doesn't go there. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And like, but you know what? We'll help you. They were the nicest people on earth that they went out of their way to drop us off at the Civic. And we're dressed like these evil people. Like, I, <laughs> like you guys are all right. I got to tell all the other heathens back in uh, uh, New Amsterdam that you're great. It's all the Dutch's fault. So, yeah, we saw the show. I left halfway through. It was like, this is boring. And then these people were yelling at me outside, like, you know, you're going to go to hell. Like, what? How do you know I'm Catholic? They're like, no, you're going to hell because you went to see, uh, you know, Marilyn Manson. Like, Brian? Really? I don't know. <laughs> it was boring. That'll teach you. That'll teach you to call into a radio show. Yeah. yeah. So that's how the devil works. Remember that next time you decide to call up uh, old oh, WPLR. Yeah. Oh, I won lunch with <clears throat> Baba Booey once. <laughs> From Howard Stern? Yeah, it was Howard, from wait, Outback you... Steakhouse in Manhattan. Did you go? Yeah. Went. This is great. I and you have the best. Drunk as hell. Like, I, How old were you? That time I was 22. And what did, what is, that's just weird that just He's to win dinner it. with another man, like. It was a bunch of other winners. And like. Oh, and so it wasn't just you and him, like. No, it was probably so. six. I'm like, this is the <laughs> weakest prize of all time. Like an Outback Steakhouse. And like you said, it's a foreign restaurant. I'm like, yeah, I guess. And did you get the Bloomin' Onion? Well, yeah. Did they pay for the liquor? Yes. Well, that's of course going to happen. Yeah, no, they, they, I made them sorry about that. And. Uh, <laughs> And he actually took me aside, and he's like, you know what? You're very funny, and you should do comedy. He told me, he was the first person ever to tell me to do stand-up comedy. Well, really? First person in the industry, I got Like, my friends are always say, hey, you should do that. That's pretty cool. I'm like, what am I going to do? Just stories about Brian? Just two colored eyes? You're like, who? Yeah, you know. Someday, you're going to be getting tattooed in the not-too-distant future. Yeah. Fat man will be... Laying a oh stop it earthworm on your arm, and then uh, oh should I get all the most famous earthworms now on the arm like earthworm Jim? Earthworm and Jim's the only other one you could name. You can't name another famous earthworm. Damn it, Brian. Uh, wait, hold on. What about that uh that worm? No. Oh, that was a penis. I'll take famous worms for four hundred, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here's today's jelly double. Mm. Uh, how long are you going to keep saying Alex? Who's the new host? Uh, the new host. Because it was going between the two. Uh, <clears throat> they tried to have what's her face. Blossom. Uh, yeah. The sun is going to show this. What was her name? Wow. Yeah, we whipped that out. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I watched television that too. Oh, it was Joey. Joey. Was Joey. Yeah. Um, what was the name of, what's her, Bialik something? Yes. Liam. Miriam. Apparently they're like, she's really smart. You know, she's like a scientist and shit. She is. She was on Big Bang Theory. Yeah. And if you know anything about this show, you know we don't support science here. No? Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry. You guys are down with science? Oh, no. So this is a magical tattoo. Yeah. Whoa. But I don't believe in a lot of, uh, you know, science. Yeah, I noticed that when you text me through magic <laughs> scripture. Like, I just I, believe in myself. Wow. I do that a lot. Really? I yeah, know. Yeah, I saw yeah. the bathroom. Of that. I do. Uh, you gotta change your diet, buddy. Yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> so, who are we for, starting to beef with? Uh, uh, probably Joe Pontillo. Joe Pontillo. Uh, uh, remember that guy? Joe Pontillo. Oh, I remember. He's still, yeah. he's still at it. Yeah, he's still doing comedy. Yeah, keep it going, Joe. I like to talk really local about comics on you, so this way our, our audience doesn't reach beyond gotcha. the, the, All right. the Long Island it's only scene. the two cats. Yeah, gotcha. they're just like... You know, oh, how about that? Hugh Murray. Hugh Murray oh, was actually yeah. uh, two episodes ago. Oh, yeah? How is he doing? Episodes. He's doing good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. playing his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, you guys used to have a, yeah, we did. a video game show together, right? Yes. You, you guys played video games and you... 
Fuck Couch Quest. People or something. We or would, uh, as we played old NES games, have sex with uh, elderly. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You guys would drink. Uh, we would try to pair the game cocktails. with different beers. Yeah. Yeah. So you like, have like, yeah. you know, uh, like martinis while you're playing Golden Eye and stuff. Yeah. I think we drank Mississippi Mud for Earthworm Jim. You know, like things like that. Yeah. We had a. That's kind of fun. Yeah. We ran out of beers. You were, you were, you were we did Miller High Life for Golden Eye. So, like, uh, yeah. Miller High Life. Yeah. I don't know if you know, it's the champagne of beers. That's what they say. That's what they say. Yeah. That's why I said it. Yeah, I don't know if you it, but. <laughs> what do you think the champagne of beers is? Um, I'm a big fan of Schaefer. I'm a big fan of Schaefer. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, once Letterman ended, uh, he could. <laughs> Paul Schaefer in the CBS Orange. I mean, wait, you uh, that's right. You have the you gave me an antique Schaefer can once. I did? You did. I mean, I, I think like that was like, oh, now we're best friends. We do I didn't know what to do. I kissed you on the neck, you gave it to me. And well that's how it works. <laughs> Second weirdest Easter. <laughs> and like, look at all my blimp flags, like I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you were showing me a collection of Yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, I had yeah. Like he took me down to. A, I'm like, I don't think I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I took you down to my fucking basement. Oh my god, basement. That was a root cellar. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Like, okay. yeah. I, I was scared. Yeah. The guy chained to the wall was like, Nah, I don't worry about it. He used to it. I'm like, ah, but what about all the silverfish? He's like, Yeah, it's all right. It's cool. <laughs> like, whatever you say, Brian. Until then, silverfish. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> That's my favorite '90s band, Silverfish. That's it. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like a '90s? What was the band though in the '90s? Silverchair. Like Silver Chair. Silver Chair. Yeah, it was a weird name for a yeah, band. They they were hard alt rock, but they were all 14 year old Australians. If you look back, it was kind of. But uh, oh, remember when we did we did a show at a tattoo convention in? Yeah, me, you, and uh, Satan's comic. Satan's comic. Glenn Miller. Uh, Glenn Miller. Uh, yeah. Uh, what you call it? Columbus. Yeah, we went Columbus, to Columbus, Ohio, Ohio which yeah. was, oh, that was such a fun, random time forever ago. You remember when we were at that random comics house party and the dog ran up the tree? Yes. I we we went there the after the first show. Like, we were there for a weekend. And I think maybe it was before the first show we went there. I think they were friends with Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Glenn found, reached out to these random fucking... Like open mic comic, yeah. whatever they want to call. They get a spot because then we did a show later for a uh, roller derby. Roller derby uh, team, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool though. Yeah. That was fun. Remember that random bar? Oh yeah. yeah. But those people made us dinner. They did. And I sat there and I watched you and Glenn eat, and I waited an hour and a half before I ate anything <laughs> to see if you die. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, if they die, I will try to pull their carcasses out of here and scream rape. Because that's what they said when you enter Ohio. Like it says, this is what you do. <laughs> it's like a warning. It's on the billboard. But uh, yeah, that was the tattoo convention. It's a giant. It was a giant arena with hundreds of people getting tattoos, and they're like, "All right, you do stand up." Like, oh what? yeah. It's like no, buzzing, it's and like we're doing comedy for bees. Tattooing, <laughs> stand up comedy at tattoo conventions is. So far, has not been a good thing. I would love for it to work. I would love to do stand-up comedy at conventions because, I mean, I tattoo and I do comedy. This is perfect hand in hand. And I've done it a couple of times. We did it at the Hell City Comedy Festival. I did it upstate oh, that recently. Was it. Hell with, City, uh, right? that was yeah, it. the Hell City was that one. Um, I did it with this uh, uh, another convention. Well, it needs with, to be in a uh, separate room. Chris Roach. Chris Roach actually right. got got a convention. Um, and, and so you know, it it was one of these things where. It's a great idea because it's like, oh, cool, perfect. It's like I'm blending my two worlds together, tattooing and comedy. Great. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to do it in a separate room where people Absolutely. are yeah. sitting down and are know that you're going to do comedy instead of just being like, you know, okay, guys, comedy show starts in 20 minutes. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? And the only people that hear us were the ones that were like five feet away. Yeah, they, they sat right so up front. Loud. Yeah, they had to be. And we, we, did, we did have fun, though. We had a good time, but we didn't... Uh, we did not have a good show. No. Uh, no. And it wasn't like we did a bad show. It was just kind of no. like, okay. Uh, the one thing are. I remember, he was like, oh, you got to pick your intro song. I'm like, what? Like, that was the, like, <laughs> yeah, what'd you pick? I don't even remember. I was just excited. I felt like a wrestler. 
I did Down with the Sickness by Richard Cheese. Oh, yeah. And that, that began my interest. I mean, I didn't want to say, like, hey, you want an intro song for Down with the Sickness, Richard Cheese. That's it. Let's get Down with the Sickness. Yeah, mother, yeah. Down with the Sickness. Get ready to die. Get ready to I want to do more conventions, but I want to do, um, yeah, I want to do it in a way that actually promotes comedy and it's not just like going to the convention and people are just annoyed because you're interrupting their, you know, they're, they're trying to listen to their, uh, their Will Smith album and get tattooed. Yeah, you know? Hey, listen, I'm trying to do tattoo and jiggy at the same time. Yeah. That's but what you do, you gotta put on your will out of But do you remember there was an issue where uh, people were actually excited for the comedy because they thought it said Ron White. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, tater tots? And no, and you get this guy and they're like, whoa. whoa. Yeah, and do you remember uh, Satan's comic hit himself in the head? He has a bit where he hits himself in the head with a mic in his forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he went too hard and he started, I think, Bleeding, yeah, like a red mark. I'm like, all right, yeah, Ohio, Ohio, yeah. Ohio. No, he still uses. Uh, I still see him using that photo of him with the bloody head. Yes, we were there at the. Oh, and that's peeing on the bar. We had a good time that convention. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. And, uh, but, unfortunately, these conventions don't really <laughs> cater to comedy the right way. So it's kind of sucks, you know. Like, I would love to do that. Just travel around and do stand-up comedy at tattoo conventions. Like, and if anybody out there is listening and wants to do a tattoo convention and have comedy at it, like, hit that crap up in the comments. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, like, how are you going to do it to make it work? Because it's sort of, um, you know, impossible. The one I did with Chris, I swear to God, it was right before I got up. The guy came to me and he's like, all right, you know, everything's good. You know, we're all set for the show. Just remember, just keep it clean. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. He's like, no, there's kids here. Keep it clean. What? And I was like, I laughed. And he's like, I'm not kidding. There are kids here. Right before you went up. And I look up and I'm like, oh my God, there are kids sitting in the, there was an actual audience sitting there, which was cool, but there was was children. And I was like, all right, I'm at a tattoo convention and I was going to do tattoo material, stuff that I have that's literally about this guy, Crazy Joe, that I used to work with that was like a, a horrible, murdering individual. I mean, a fun guy, but not a fun guy on the wrong side, you know? You were on his wrong side, but um, how am I supposed to do that? Was well, that supposed dirty? To do that material? Uh, I don't know if it's dirty, but you know, just like I'm gonna fucking kill you, you know, shit like that. It's not really. Oh, well, you just say I'm gonna f and flip you. you know? Yeah, you yeah. melon farmer. Like yeah. you're to talk like it, like like when they have good fellas on TV and it's they have to bleep out the curses. My, do you remember when they would change the words? Yeah, not just bleep. The most famous one I remember is Die Hard. And in it, instead of yippee ki motherfucker, can I say that? Mm-hmm. Can I say yippee ki okay. And he's yippee ki motherfucker. They changed it to yippee ki Mr. Falcon. Mr. <laughs> there is no character in the movie named Mr. Falcon. Respects to but Mr. they Falcon. changed it to yippee ki Mr. Falcon. It, it makes no sense. That, I, all right, this is a hell off. I don't know if you got, if, did you like DuckTales? DuckTales. Yeah, well, that might be the next time. But they did a new DuckTales, a which nude, I love. Nude? New. Well, oh, there was, was a nude one, but that's a different channel. That's Nickelodeon. But Disney, they did a new one where Dewey or one of them jumps out and it's like, yippee ki Mr. Falcon. And I'm like, he said the thing in front of the thing. Did he really? Yes, he did. It was actually a good, that was a good remake. Funny. It was a good remake. They had good writing. Was there a Mr. Falcon on that show either? No. Oh, wait. Maybe they might have had a character, Mr. Falcon, just for that. <laughs> Mr. Falcon. Mamma Jamma. I would Mr. hear that in a movie. Falcon. Listen here, Mr. Mamma Jamma. I'm like, is that a bad word? <laughs> you learn these awful, dumb, bad... Like, hey, Mamma Jamma. Mm-hmm. I hope you suck Mamma eggs. Jamma. And you got to change your voice. Because that's what you think cursing is. I hope you suck eggs. Bad Mamma Jamma. Well, now we're back in action. Yeah, you never know when we want to catch. Right? Some of the uh, some of our employees have decided to come back after going out and uh, and drinking a little bit, which is fun. Doesn't make a bad person. Nah, nah, you got it sometimes. You know. Yeah
Oh my god, yeah. Stand up comedy is literally built on drinking and Yeah, you know, uh, maybe we've been at it for so long, but so many of these kids, like, they, you know, I don't drink or do anything, well, you know. Like, what? Take advantage of this. Yeah, what's your opinion on that? We're on a serious note. Like, what do you think about drinking as, as a stand up comic? I had to learn my level. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because I've gone up sloppy, like, oh, shit. Uh, I refuse to, I can't drink booze before. Uh, okay. I don't partake in any marijuana on stage. Actually, I really don't partake much, period. But uh, I have a couple beers. I I have no problem with people who drink. You're in a bar. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, yeah, but as far as like, see, that's the thing. Like, I've, I've been one of those people that's, I'll, I'll drink on stage. I won't drink on stage. I go back and forth on it. I know that if I'm at like three drinks after the third drink. I'm different. You know, okay. like I have like one. So you two. know your level though. Well, once I have three, then I want to have all of them. Oh, that's a separate problem. You know, and I'm like, yeah, no, nah. like I'll get to the third drink, and I'm like, oh, that was my third drink. I'm like, you know what? This is the, the third drink is probably the best drink of them all because you're at the perfect level. And when you say drink, you mean. Uh, Whatever it is. Yeah, you can be three beers, three whiskeys. It's always, it does like the same thing. I don't know. Three whiskeys are different for me than three beers. And I get to that level and I'm just like, oh, you know what would be cool right now? So you're you know, thinking that it loosens you up and like you, you might do something different, uh, right? Well, I've gone up on stage drunk and I've gone up on stage buzzed and I've gone up on stage on different levels just to see what it's like. I feel like every comic, if you do drink, you should go up on stage and try it. Try it drunk, try it sober, yeah. try it a million different ways. Only for the fact that, like, this, this is going to sound so stupid, but I think it's important. You never know what's going to happen. And so if you've done something when you're drunk, then at least do it on your own time. So, that, you know, what if you're what if you're out one night at a party and everything's going good and you're having a good time and you're having a couple of fucking beers and everything's great. And then all of a sudden you, like, get a phone call. Hey, dude, can you do some time at the show or whatever? Yeah. Can you do some time in, like, an hour from now? And you're like, I'm fucked up. Like, how am I going to do this? At least As a comic, you're on call 24 7. Oh, come on. You you know that does happen sometimes. When oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. So and so can't make it. You know, you you live right oh, local, yeah. right? Come on down to the fucking VFW hall for the all you can eat spaghetti fucking fundraiser. And, it's the best and, fundraiser. <laughs> and you're like, damn it. Damn it. I can't go there and ruin it for these veterans. But yeah, and you've had a couple of drinks. And We're sorry. Like, because of the junk comic, no more spaghetti. What well, I I was in the volunteer fire department. You never know when that page is going to go off, right? So yeah. that's why you get, you know. I said. I mean, I, 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 these comics, they say, like, it's all about the art and they're trying to craft it and be better in comics and, like, eh, have a drink. But then I also look, oh, shit, they're passing me. All right, maybe there's, <laughs> maybe there's something to uh, not a, being a dumb drunk. It's a bit of both, you know. I feel like you can't be a complete, you know, teetotaler, but you don't want to be a, a fucking blind drunk either. You know, what did M- Hemingway said? Uh, write drunk, edit sober. And I kind of think that that makes sense, you know? Because you don't want to really say what you're thinking when you're fucking hammered. But you come up with some good ideas. Uh, Wait, I read that in your bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I hear that recently? Oh, that's on your wall. In no, your bathroom. I, in my bathroom, there's a Hemingway quote on the wall, and it says, uh, always do always do sober what you said you'd do when you were drunk. Oh, that's right. That'll teach you to keep your mouth shut. Which I lived by for a while, and it got me into a lot of just terrible things. Like, I would get drunk, and then I'd be at, like, the bar, and they'd be like, you know, we should all go see 311. I'm like, hey, you fools, you see 311! We're going, we're going this week out of C 311. I'm buying the tickets. And then I'd wake up in the morning and be like, dude, I have to go see 311? Like, Ugh. why? And, and then you're standing story. there in a 30-minute drum solo, like, ah. <laughs> yes, I know the color of my energy. Jesus. <laughs> Amber is the color of my energy. I have been to 311, and it is an enjoyable show. Uh, you, you've been to 311? No, I've been to 311. Where did you yeah. 311? Why did you do that? Wasn't there one out here? Uh, Great it, South Bay Music. Yeah, place. maybe. Did that happen That's yet? That's the one I went to. No, oh, like, my God. Were we there? A couple of years ago. I went to that. Oh, one. crap. Yeah. I think we were yeah. all there. And I got drunk at the bar, and I walked outside. There was a 311 poster. It's like, 311, coming to Great South Bay. I was like, you know what? You know what? And then the one... Girl in the bar was like, that's my favorite band. And that should be your sign. When someone says, hey, you know what my favorite band is? And they say 311, you should be like, no. That's nobody's favorite band. That's a flag? It's terrible. 311 is like what would happen to Sublime if Bradley didn't die. That's what I said. <laughs> All right. It's true. 
Whoa! Amber is the color of dream. Sorry, bad fish. Sorry. Bad fish. Uh, do you like Sublime? I I like Sublime. I enjoy that one album. Well, you don't like Sublime with the new Sublime with Rome. The new Rome. Uh, uh, Sublime, but it's somebody else singing. Like, oh, cool. That's just what fun. I didn't want. Oh my god, it's done! No, no, oh, no, no, my god. Doing everything. Um, too. I know. Jesus Christ, you sound like every lover. Lava. Is that weird to say? Lava. Mr. Lava Lava. Mr. Lava. Mm. Mr. Lava. Mr. Lava. Mr. Lava. Black Eye Shaggy? Oh, yeah, he's great. Yeah. I always thought he said having botulism. Ooh, thank God. I used to always think he was I'm the lyrical gangster. Like I thought at first he was saying I'm the leprechaun gangster. Lyrical gang? No, that's Ani Kamosi. Oh, that's a different guy, yeah. But I'm I'm white, so we're confused by anybody that gives us a Jamaican accent. Hey, don't blow me in. I just said no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, now, white people are confused by Jamaican accents. We could we know it could be we went Miss Cleo, remember her? Yeah. Call me now for your free reading, remember her? Yeah, she was trying to daddy racist church. She's not a trying daddy. Yeah. Trinidad. Hey, put your messages below in the comments. Trinidad. Trinidad. That's not a song. There is a song on the. I will show you. There is this lady that I've gotten this this video sent to me, and she's a Long Island Railroad conductor, and she sings this song about Trinidad. But she's like Trinidad, no Trinidad. It's so. It's so good. But it's so bad. But really? It's so good. It's okay. addicting. It's addicting. It's like, um, you ever touch your tongue to a square battery? Yes. And you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, but I'm going to do it again later. That's what the Trinidad song is like. Oh. I'll show it to you later. You, you need to have it in your life. It's is like, that your favorite go to YouTube video to watch? Um, It had been for quite some time. I also used to like to put it on Rebecca Black's Friday. 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 Gotta get that on Friday. She was Trinidad. She was a Trinidad. The Trinidaddies sound like a ska band. Oh my god. Big bad Trinidaddy. Do you remember the ska trend on the island? Yeah, it was huge for a while. Go to the swing set or the funky fish. Baby, baby, it looks like it's gonna fail. Well, that, well, that was swing. Um, yeah. I mean, they're, they're very right, close, actually. but uh, yeah, you just made me want to buy uh, cap pants. But, uh, oh, remember the Gap commercials? Hey, you remember? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember Gap. Is Gap around? <laughs> Yo, what, what voice is that? Member Berries. What character is that? <laughs> Member Berries. Member Berries. South Park. It was oh. a South Park where people just always think so. I you just so made that up. I didn't know what that was. And I was like, that's cool. Hey, you know, that is me. Yeah, that was all. Yeah, Member. And Member Darth Vader. <laughs> You remember Dagobah? Uh, yeah, you remember Star Wars? Remember the Do you watch movies? I, I I don't imagine you watching Red Card to Tear. No, I do. I watch a lot of stuff. Really? I just oh, yeah, assume yeah, you were yeah. on a ham radio or looking at like hobo carvings of like wood posts. <laughs> I, I I don't see you listening to traditional. It's like, oh look, they got chicken over here. <laughs> Yeah. Watch out for these rousers. Why did I you gotta watch there's a lot of rousers in this area. <laughs> I'm just looking at the hobo alphabet. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what do you like? I am curious. Like, do you what watch do TV? Watch? Like, yeah, I watch a shit ton of Netflix. Okay. Um, That's fine. not just Netflix, but I, I should say more YouTube than anything else. Okay. I like to because you know what it is. I don't like to get invested in long time shit because oh, yeah. it sucks that you spent two hours watching. That's why you're still single, sucks, huh? You know? Wow! Oh, I got a wonderful lady. I'm a wonderful. So you do invest in long term. Well, you know. What? You know what I mean. I don't know. So, all right. But you gotta watch Give me Netflix. one show that might be long term. There's gotta be one. Um, I just finished The Bear. The Bear. Night. Okay. The Bear from, it's still uh, going though, right? I didn't watch the last two seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished it. I mean, that's okay. a very good show. Um, it's, a, it's a good show. It's, it's, it's very, like, if you're into, like, cooking and chefs and the whole, you know, Michelin star world, like, that's a cool show to watch. If you're yeah. not into that, it just seems really cunty. I used to all talking about just different foie gras and shit like that. I, I, I guess I'm, I'm not a big foodie. I, I, I've always had weird things with food. Like, as a kid, I hated food. I didn't eat. I didn't want to eat. I hated the whole process of chewing and pooping and everything. Like, uh, 
it was rough. Eating? Yeah, I didn't like it. Like I was skinny as hell. Not even like child services got involved. I mean, like, but it was just me. I just didn't want to eat. So I've always been weird about food. Well, then we won't talk about the, the cooking show. Oh, no, we could talk about it. Absolutely. Like I'm just saying. Up, yeah. Like I brought up a childhood memory. She's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, bring it up. Yeah. Where's the no, best place like, to bring up childhood memories than a tattoo parlor? Well, like, what's a good show, then, that you've watched? That's like, what's your last one? What's I'm watching now? Uh, yeah. I'm watching uh, The House of the Dragon, or Hot D, as the cool kids call it. I like the Hot D. Hot D? Hot D. Hot D. I love getting all out, like, watching them all ride the Hot Ds. I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't agree with dragons. You don't like dragons? Hey, Hugh Murray, you hearing this? He hates dragons. Now we got a beef. Hugh Murray? Hugh Murray, Murray like, loves dragons. Really? Oh, my God. Is he really a big dragon? He's the though? only animal he'll have sex with. That's fucking weird. That's yeah, like, sorry, like, dolphins. What he maybe like, uh, <laughs> dragging, dragging your balls across the chin? Dragging a ball across the chin. There's the Yu Gi Oh player. Hugh yeah. Murray dragging his ball across the Yu Gi Oh. What is a Yu Gi Oh? He likes Yu Gi Oh. What's that? What's that? that it's a show you need to watch. That's another long term show you need to watch. Yu Gi Oh! That sounds like, isn't that guy, uh. She works next door. Yu Gi Oh! In the hand jobbery? In the hand jobbery. Hand jobbery! Ooh, we can make a TV show out of that. The Friction Mill. We can make, oh, check it out. We'll make like a Lord of the Rings kind of Game of Thrones y style uh-huh. show about a medieval hand jobbery. Sure, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. And it's just like, oh, great. In comes it, orc. Uh, and he's like, hey guys, it's me. Johnny B. Ward. Uh, what else do I want? I like the boys. What? No, I don't watch that kind of stuff. I'm straight. No? Okay. It's a uh, superhero. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the one not that, uh, like, uh, Amazon. They work for like a corporations and stuff. And... Yeah, yeah, it's a corporate involvement. Uh, what else do I watch? More or more. Movie? I went to see Twisters. Is it good? I want to see. It. It's a movie you got to see. It's, it might be the most important movie of our generation, but uh, it's definitely nice in the theater. It's the loud music. I mean, it's a summer popcorn. Loud. They're chasing tornadoes. Tornadoes. I, it's just been a while since I went to the theater. I'm like, ah, let me see that. That's not bad. Yeah. That's gonna happen. Sometimes. I mean, I am a. You know, I love the MCU. I love it. It's just fallen off in a while. And, uh, I still watch yeah. that crap. I, still, uh, I like comic like books. You know that. You know I like comic books. You don't know? Like, what about it? There's so many different types. How do you... He's like, ah, literature. I don't know about that. Isn't that a fad? Reading. Uh, reading. Reading. That one reading was considered, like, oh, you read. You uh, read. Ew, you read? Ew, you read? That's a weird time. Get up on the fire pyre. We're going to burn you. I'm a big you person reader. about waxing nostalgic about like when we were younger and stuff. And it was cool. Like, oh man, that was cool times. But like the fact that we shame people for reading is probably the stupidest shit yeah. that ever. I had to sit. Look at you. What are you, a math dork? And I had to like, hide uh, my Animorphs book. And I had to get killed. Like, well, you probably should still hide your Animorphs. What's an Animorph? Anyway, yeah, readers are losers. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I don't need. And then they tried to make it cool, but somehow they made it worse. They were like, I know what we're going to do. We're going to get Lamar Burton, and we're going to do Reading Rainbow. Yeah. And you're like, guys, not hard enough right now without Butterfly in the Sky. I can fly twice as high. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. That was horrible. That was terrible. Sorry. It's, uh, don't worry, we'll uh, we'll edit that out. No, you won't. Oh, guess what? That's a good bumper. Speaking of reading rainbows, what? Um, I think we're done. Whoa! I gotta let this all settle in and brighten up. But uh, let's wow. Let's take all, all this color and uh, let's clean this down. Oh, it's cool. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, do. I think it's sweet. fun. Yeah, it's something fun. Like every other tattoo I did on this podcast, fucking bullshit. Whoa. This one, actually pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. Even Hugh Murray's dragon? Even Hugh Murray's dragon. What did he get? What did, he, what did Hugh Murray get? What did Hugh Murray get? I didn't get to the end of it. He oh, an yeah, yeah, he had an hourglass with a skull. That's right. Oh, yep. no. It was a skull and an hourglass. No, it was a heart. That's right. It was the heart bleeding out of the hourglass. I was, I was hammered. The fuck does that mean? 
Uh, he's running out of heart. Oh no! He's got to get more uh, mana. It, he, he's basically um, he's a big fan of uh, was it Bonnie Tyler and the song Total Eclipse of the Heart? Was that Bonnie Tyler? I think so. Bonnie Raid. I don't know. No, I don't know. Hey guys, if you know who sang Total Eclipse of the Heart, put in the comments below. After you time, I was falling in the Now I'm only falling in the It should have just been called Robin Tim's uh, Karaoke. Now we're Bonnie on. Tyler. Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler, okay, thank you. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a picture of that in a second or two, but in the moment, um, so what should check it out yourself and see what you got here. It's going to brighten and all that, but go check it out in the mirror. All right. See what you think. And then we'll do our, our, our closing wrap up. All right. You can show it to that camera that's right in front of you. Oh, that's how we see it through. No, 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 no. This one? Look at it. <laughs> this camera? Yeah, that camera. Am I doing it right? No, 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 no. Is it stealing my soul? There you go. Am I there in it? Go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can look at it now. Oh, thank you. That's all bloody. Is it bloody? Yeah. Ah, it's fine. Oh, I should have told you, I'm a hemophiliac. Hemophiliac. You know that song from, from, uh... Thank you. Phil Collins? Is that Phil Collins song, hemophiliac? Uh, <laughs> hemophiliac. Um, I'm going to say, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This looks cool. Thank you so much. We've done, we done well. I enjoyed this. This was fun. And I'm going to definitely put some. This was a, one of the worst ones, right? Richard Scary. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh, by the way, I saw the last one. Uh, having sex with a prostitute does not count toward your body count. Oh, my God. Which episode was that on? Uh, was Justin about. Hartman. Justin Hartman. Hartman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it, it only counts if it's a person that's willing to have sex with you. That's what makes it a great number, that another person is willing to engage with you. But, I mean, that then you have to count fleshlights and everything else you paid for. So, it, <laughs> it doesn't count. Oh, I had sex with my couch. That must count. No. It has to be a human being. That That's the exciting thing. Someone actually wants to have sex with you. I've actually talked to women, and they want to do it, and they're like, All right, bye. I will not do it because I, I I don't want to disappoint, but I'm so excited. Like, oh, my God, this person wants to have sex with me. That's amazing. I'm going to think about that when I drive home. But I don't want to, like, ah, I'm going to have to take my shirt off, and then the whole thing is going to change. It's going to get blinded. I ain't doing any sit-ups this decade. If you ever if you ever have a really weird yeah. question you want an answer to, you could just write it to uh, to us. Yeah, and a we'll, self-posted stamp envelope. We'll get Tim to answer any kind of. I'll plan answer or your email. question. What are your questions? Uh, what do you got? Do we? Are we going to take a, a picture of this? We will. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to take a picture of it too. But but you're right. Let that settle for a minute. All right. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so ends another fantastic episode of Who the F is Rob White with my uh, tremendous and wonderful guest, Mr. Tim Thompson. Tim. Uh, tell the people at, at home where they can find your uh, social media and contact you. Thank you. All right. So when I'm not trying to save the rec center from the evil land developer through my break dancing, <laughs> <laughs> please watch it to see if I win the big ski race. No. Uh, all right. So on Twitter, all right, you got to you know, follow me. Twitter, it's Timothy Thompson. All right. Uh, there's no P in Thompson. All right, one word, Timothy Thompson. On uh, Instagram, it's Tim Thompson Comedy. On Blue Sky, is Norman Felmer. All right, now for legal reasons, I'm Norman Felmer, and I have a neck injury, okay? Uh, Facebook, I think it's just uh, Devin Borey. And uh, I guess that's it. What else am I on? Macedon. On Macedon, it's again Tim Thompson, but this time with a P. Ah, oh, you forgot your LinkedIn. Oh, my LinkedIn. Oh, I stay away from that. That's a website that is too sexy. Uh, <sighs> uh, Timothy Thompson on uh, Twitter and Tim Thompson Comedy on Instagram. I think we, I think we did it. Well, thank you so much for, ha for having me on your show. 
<laughs> Yo, I appreciate it. I can't wait I to have you this. again. This is yeah. great. Uh, uh, folks, like, share, subscribe. Definitely stuff in the comments. Yeah. Tim and me need to uh, address a lot of those things. Smash the like button. Do it, Rockapella. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you.